Welcome to another mind-blowing session at Global Agro Connect podcast on YouTube with Aka Joshua Salvation, the Agro King. Stay tuned. people welcome to another exciting episode of global agro connect podcast i am akadusha salvation and happy to have you back again on our awesome episodes this is the part two of one of our podcast episodes the last we just dropped that talked about having or developing healthy relationship with your farm workers for the profitability and productivity of your farm now i was so excited when i actually uh, i i um um saw the magazine that my manager gave to me to read and I realized that the same topic that I talked about on the last episode is the same topic that was in that magazine and virtually everything that I wrote or I spoke about from my head is the same thing that is on this magazine but the only thing about it is this is more modified so i'm going to be telling you or discussing on different aspects that are sessioned or developed or that have been talked about on this magazine that can actually help managers or farm owners to keep their workers uh, 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 to manage their farm workers for more productivity and profitability of the farm business for um, emphasis sake if you haven't subscribed please do so that's the red button down there please subscribe to um, encourage us for to drop more content and follow us on Facebook at Global Agro Connect on Instagram at GAC.2020. Um, let's dive into the podcast episode for today. Now, how do managers or farm owners manage farm workers for more productivity and profitability? First is sense of belonging. Let as a farm owner, let your farm workers have a sense of belonging. Let them know that the farm is not just yours, it is theirs. Help them have that um, um, sense of belonging that, or, or to actually develop that uh, uh, um, thinking that if the farm works well, then it w- they go well. If the farm doesn't work well, then it means they failed on it. So let them actually think of the farm as theirs and not just yours. They shouldn't have this mentality of um, whether the farm works or it doesn't work, we are there to get our salary. Because if your farm workers or uh, um, or your workers in your farm have such mentality, huh, you are really in for a bad game. Because agriculture, be it crop or livestock, is nothing to... It's a very sensitive and delicate business and requires people who are committed to be able to play their cards well in the success of the business. If you have uncommitted workers, it's really going to play bad on your business. All right. Second one is motivations. Your workers should be motivated by being paid decent salaries. I tell people when you pay your farm workers peanuts, uh, really, 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 it will tell on your business. Now, if you are, um, let's imagine you are living, now I classify peanuts in different ways, right? You are living in a place or your farm is situated in a place where the high or the cost of living is very low. Like people can basically use a few amounts of money to purchase food for themselves and take care of themselves. Now, if you decide to pay in such places, you decide to pay probably uh, um, 25, 30,000 naira to your um, um, farm attendant, let's play with the attendants now, to the farm attendant, we can say, yes, that is a bit okay. It's manageable, right? Now, let's say you're living in a place where the the cost of living is double or triple the other place. Can you still tell me that paying that same farm worker that amount of money of 25 to 30,000 will still be sufficient? No. So even if you decide to pay the other farm worker at the other farm, 40,000 naira, it is still regarded as peanuts. If you decide to pay him 45,000 naira, it is still regarded as peanuts. So peanuts can be classified in different ways. So you have to pay them decent salaries and for better, uh, 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 um, for better, how would I say it, better achievement, it's better to actually include incentives like 13 months bonus, paid leave, 
weekly off days that is very important most farms don't do that it's very important to give your farm workers time to rest one day off is enough or is actually very important for them to rest when your farm workers don't get time to rest they believe you only care, care about your money or care about your business but you don't care about their health so make it all about them mostly about them not just about you all right now giving them the weekly of days relieves psychological stress in workers and it shows that they are not under undue daily pressure this gives them the kind a kind of rest of mind in their workplace that their welfare is a priority within the workplace and it ensures commitment for them to work and strive for excellence at the workplace now leading by example the farm manager should lead by example as whatever the leader does will be a yardstick for the subordinates because if the leader lowers his standard then it will be the standard for all such as proper communication for absenteeism punctuality adherence to farm rules diligence to work interpersonal relationship skill and so on now by doing this the productivity level will be high as everyone will be on their toes and all loopholes for pilfering theft and diversions of farm properties will not be created but when you have a farm manager who actually peel or what it steals or actually, actually actually carries your farm produce to sell on his own then be rest assured that your farm attendant or your other workers will actually start playing that part four periodic training and mentoring this is very important and most people tend to overlook this they believe they are there to work they collect their salary they have um, a section where they actually work and they know what to do now don't assume they know what to do periodic training and mentorship is very important right a stranger in a modern house if you don't know how to use the doors as simple as it may seem if there is a fire outbreak you might actually break the wall in order to exit now it should be assumed it shouldn't be assumed that workers know it all like I said before all right let them get trained let them get mentored all right now let's say for example a section of bird in a pen did not eat or uh, 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 eat the feed that is being served at the first feeding and the eggs produced in the sections are few now if an attendant is not properly trained on observing the animal behavior and the environment when the second feeding comes what do you think that person will do obviously the attendants will just top up the feed and continue his feeding but when you actually have uh, attendants that are well trained and that are mentored and that are co on continuous training when the person feeds up to that point and realize that ah no, this is not the quantity of egg that was produced here yesterday. And this feed is actually left untouched. The person will actually have this thing in her heart. One, temperature. Now, was the temperature today really high on this side? Two, what about their water consumption? Is their nipples really working? Is the water here really adequate? Then you will check or try to check the health of the birds if the birds are really in good condition. Now, it's only through proper training that those farm workers will be able to ascertain whether the bird is doing well when feed is not consumed or not and that that is just one aspect of it there are several other areas where your farm workers are supposed to be trained on let them be professionals at it take it onto yourselves to train them because you know they are actually going to give you back what you give out to them assign specific duty for easy performance assessment and evaluation now roles should be specific in order to hold each individual accountable for the success or failure of his or her duties now if tasks are assigned collectively it won't be it won't be done and if it is done there's a blunder if it's done and there is a blunder everyone would actually say he's not the one now this is very very common because um, let's imagine 10 people get assigned to a task and nobody does it now everybody will actually be thinking um, let's say you have Shola, you have James, you have Jacob, you have Isaac, you have uh, um, um, Cayman and you actually gave them now every one of you this is your section and you have to feed this fish in the morning right and in the morning Cayman is still asleep, James is still asleep, Shola is still asleep, Isaac is still asleep only Jacob is awake now Jacob will look at himself that Jacob goes to feed the next morning, the first morning the second morning only Jacob is awake, Jacob goes to feed the third morning Jacob goes to feed the first day, what, what do you think Jacob would do? Jacob would say, ah, these people are taking me for a ride. He will also sleep and let the fish stay there. Right? So that fish shouldn't be fed. Now, 
when there is a day when there is mortality or those fish start to develop stunted growth then everyone denies being a party to it why because there is no uh, um, specific duty that has actually been assigned been assigned to any one of them now also make sure that when you assign specific duty those that perform well on their duty should be rewarded that is very important because now imagine mr a works as an attendant in uh, pen a and mr b works in attendant in pen b mr c works in attendant in pen c and mr a performs well the first month and he gets a bonus salary uh, uh, um, um salary top up and um, what do you think mr b and c will do obviously they will have to buckle up because everyone wants to get to top up Everyone wants to actually get something added to them at the end of the month. So do something to actually move them to give you more. Maintain discipline. Reward diligence and sanction indolence. Now, if discipline doesn't exist in an organization, there would be lawlessness. Queries should be served when necessary and there should be sanctions for indolence so as to serve as deterrent to others. While good deeds should be rewarded accordingly and praised so as to motivate others this will make each worker to buckle up fall in line or fall out if a mediocre is left unattended to in a workforce he or she will just be like a bag plug in a vehicle dragging its progress all right now this is just a little i could share from this handout or from this magazine and i believe it actually buttressed some points on what i actually shared on the other podcast episode thank you very much for listening i am aka joshua salvation enjoy the rest of your day and this is goodbye for me